In recent news, Vicki Gunvalson, one of the original Real Housewives of Orange County, is officially moving out of her iconic home. Her former Coto de Casa, California abode was featured on 14 seasons of Real Housewives and now she said an emotional goodbye. While this was the estate where plenty of gossip was had and wine was thrown, Vicki has downsized to another home in the area with plans to renovate. We'll check out a few of her properties past and present because she's owned more than these two. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vicki Gunvalson is a famous businesswoman who's the founder of Koto Insurance and best known for her starring role on The Real Housewives of Orange County. She's been a fixture on the series for 14 seasons and is one of the OG cast members. At the time of this recording, Vicki has amassed herself a healthy net worth over $8 million, so it's no wonder she's owned properties in California, North Carolina, and even Mexico. After her divorce, Vicky maintained her famous Coto de Casa residence she lived in for over 20 years that she only recently let go of. Fans will fondly remember the highlight of this property, the resort style backyard with massive pool, waterfall, rock water slide and more. Lots of action on The Real Housewives happened back here and it had its fair share of reality TV drama, that's for sure. Welcome back guys, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm here for you with another exclusive house tour on Famous Entertainment. We're checking out the homes of The Real Housewives of Orange. Orange County Queen Vicky Gunvalson. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end, even an iconic housewife's home. Vicky Gunvalson recently said an emotional goodbye to her longtime Koto de Casa home where she made so many memories. Closing the deal in March 2021 for $3 million, the one-of-a-kind home had been prominently featured in Real Housewives of Orange County. Even scenes with ladies throwing wine at one another. Located in the prestigious and guard-gated community of Koto de Casa in Orange County, California, the elegant 5,456 square foot home boasted five bedrooms and five bathrooms. During Vicky's 20 years owning the home, the estate underwent a number of renovations, including custom designed paint and sleek French style windows added to the home's sophistication. The residents also showcased soaring ceilings, exclusive formal living and dining rooms, as well as oversized windows and ample indoor and outdoor flow through the glass sliders. The massive gourmet kitchen had the finest designer details and finishes, custom countertops, and glamorous light fixtures over the combination island and breakfast bar. Here there's also a sunny breakfast nook as well as a separate family room made up of a cozy fireplace, wet bar, and TV. Also on the main floor there's an office, a study, and bedroom with private bath. An iron staircase leads upstairs to three spacious guest bedrooms and Vicky's beautiful former master suite. I can see why she liked this home and lived here for so long as she had everything she needed here. There's a sitting area, two-way fire place and oversized balcony with views of the resort style backyard and the Koto de Casa Hills. Now we come to Vicky's famous backyard which is also likely the best part of the residence. It was built to entertain and it looks like something from a five star resort. Not only is there the huge pool and spa with rock waterfall, there's even a water slide. Multiple spaces back here include a grotto with bar area, a fire pit with seating for all of the housewives to gather around, and a private bathroom with shower. Rounding things out, the full outdoor kitchen boasts a stainless steel barbecue, dishwasher, refrigerator, and ice cooler. Whether Vicky was hosting her housewife house for a chat or throwing pool parties, there is room to do all of that and more on the grounds of this property. The entire space was surrounded by palm trees, gardens, and panoramic views, so I can see why Vicky had trouble saying goodbye to the home. Back in April of 2021, Vicky began showing off her new downsized digs, giving fans behind the scenes look at the renovations. While we don't know much, we do know the new abode is also located in Koto de Casa, so she didn't stray too far. Fans were teased with a quick glimpse of her front hall that boasted a hanging chandelier and patio, which she assures will be remodeled. Vicky also revealed her open plan kitchen, which she says is being gutted, and will include new white cabinets, quartzite counters, an island that will be turned the other way, and cantina doors that will be installed on the back wall. You'll be happy to know she has plans to deck the kitchen out with all new appliances and fixtures, and that multiple bathrooms
bathrooms will be updated, including the master bath. This space will be going through a total renovation that will be converted to offer a double vanity and include a makeup station while relocating the closet door. If there's anybody that can remodel a home, it's definitely Vicky. And hey, once we get an update on the finished project, you can be sure you'll hear it from us first. In May of 2020, Vicky additionally snagged herself a stunning Puerto Vallarta, Mexico condo that she announced will serve as a vacation and retirement home. This way, she can have a nice escape away from the drama. Vicky previously noted she would be donating all of the home's existing furniture and bedding to an orphanage and hire a decorator to redesign her digs. Vicky teased fans in an Instagram post revealing that she has a new dining room table being made, a massive television being added to a den with desks and shelving which will serve as the personal office near the back of the condo. Perhaps the biggest flex of her new residence is the colossal balcony that overlooks the palm tree covered beach with private built in jacuzzi. Definitely a treat to wake up to every day. The move was the perfect fit as Vicky says she's been visiting Puerto Vallarta for over 30 years and obviously she loves the location. In the midst of selling her first Coto de Casa home and snagging her condo in Puerto Vallarta, Vicky added to her real estate portfolio with a luxury log cabin on North Carolina Lake for 599k. It was a bold move considering she picked up the property without seeing it in person, a move she claims was to be closer to where her daughter Brianna lives. But when you're making the kind of bread that Vicky makes, you can afford to make purchases like this. The getaway features a number of luxe amenities including an enormous open kitchen, massive wraparound deck, double slip boathouse and private pier. Additionally, the cabin contains a two car garage and also includes a golf cart path to the lake. The open kitchen had been updated with self-closing cabinets, granite countertops, and grand island while right off the kitchen. The living room includes a rock fireplace, cozy furnishings, and breathtaking views of North Carolina Lake. The luxury cabin offers an additional warm lit living room with comfy seating area and four armchairs surrounding a small table, two bedrooms with single beds, and one space with bunk beds. In true Vicky fashion, immediately after visiting the property for the first time, she claimed a few rooms needed to be tweaked to suit her taste, including ripping out the carpet and and updating the bathrooms and installing a new washer and dryer. I mean, I guess that can happen if you buy a home without ever stepping foot inside. Regardless, Vicky shocked fans when she ended up selling the beautiful cottage only six months after purchasing it. In fact, the home was snatched up for full price just one day after being on the market. Considering all the extensive work she put into the abode, including removing a bathtub, new tiled shower installed, all new outdoor lighting, new ceiling fans, and new indoor lighting, the deal does seem like a loss for Vicky. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. We got to take a look at the handful of luxurious homes owned by Real Housewife of Orange County star Vicky Gunvalson, including her homes in Coto de Casa, Orange County, Mexico, and North Carolina. After seeing all those properties, did you have a fave? I mean, clearly Vicky's first and famous Coto de Casa home is the star in this house tour. That resort cell backyard with the pool, waterfall, rock water slide, and countless other features. And we can't forget the reality TV memories made at that very home. But hey, that second Koto de Casa home is a nice consolation prize. Can't wait to see what she's gonna do with that spa. Also, I can't believe she got rid of her North Carolina lake cabin after six months. Didn't even give the place a chance. Would you rather have the lakeside cabin or the Mexico getaway as a vacation home? I think I would choose the lakeside cabin life for me. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!